Hello everybody, Dark Zekrom here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. This is episode 12, and if you watched the grinding montage, you will have seen we only have four Pokemon on our team. And that is the reasoning behind that is because when I was grinding, uh, we lost our Spoink. And I was going to level them all up to level 31. Look how, Chloe, look how close Spoink was. I was really excited to use a Spoink and everything. But of course... I ran into a Baltoy, and this Baltoy had self-destruct. Baltoy, you self-destruct. And you can guess the rest from there. So I decided I was going to level up Humps. I decided, no, screw that. I was going to level up James. said, no, screw that. So we are going to run four Pokemon. But in the grinding montage, I caught ourselves Swallow the Talo, No Name the Tentacool, and Lopez the Magnemite. And if you get any of those references, let me know in the comment section below. Or on Twitter, which is always in the description. Shameless little plugging there. But, moving on from there, we've been losing a lot of Pokemon recently, and I don't want to do it again. So, I'm going to use the speed up button, only to like skip through little cutscenes like that. Or, somewhat pointless battles. Like, just wild battles, just to run away from them. But otherwise, I'm just going to play like I was playing on a regular game. So, if you also watched the Grinding Montage, you would notice that we missed our, uh, missed our encounter for Route 119 because Anorith, um, I think, got a critical scratch on it. So, that's a thing. But, moving on, I don't think I want to take on a Wynona this episode, mostly because our Pokemon are only level 31, her Ace is level 33, and her other of them have level B33, which I'm going to try to do the end of this by the end of this episode. And, uh... I'm going to try to get him to level 33. But besides that, I don't think I want to take her on this episode. I mean, I'll do all the events over there. Maybe go a little bit towards Lily Cove, not too far in. So yeah, we'll take on a... Uh, because we just did... Um, cherry Berry? Do I have Cherry Berries? Because we just... Uh, yes, I have four. We just took on Norman last episode. And uh, that was really close. <laughs> and I don't want to fight another... Um, gym leader oh my gosh roselia turn down turn down no i don't want your freaking number go away jeez louise almost knocked out two of my pokemon oh my lord anyway i don't want to take on my nona this episode because i just don't want to deal with it and plus we're gonna have a lot of other battles in this episode uh like the we're gonna fight may we're gonna fight a lot of team aqua trainers and stuff so it's gonna be a good episode it's gonna be a real good episode so, yeah! Last episode, I know I forgot to uh, put the um, gym badge in after we won it, but I was just really mad because we lost two of our Pokemon. And if you would like to go back and watch that episode, go ahead. Episode uh, 10. Or episode 11, not episode 10, sorry. <sighs> I'm really mad because we've been losing a lot of Pokemon recently. So, I need to really be careful. Is this a new route? Hold on, let me see if there's a new route, because we might be able to get a Tropius here. No, this is still Route 119. Alright, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is probably go almost to Lily Cove, not all the way through, though. Because I don't want to get to Lily Cove just yet. I'm going to Metal Claw these motherfuckers real quick. And I think what's going to happen is I'm going to catch a few more Pokemon that I can around here, because I know there's some areas where I can. And I'll probably level them up along with these others um, before we fight Wynona. So that's probably what's going to happen. It seems like a good plan to me. So yeah, hopefully we get a good Pokemon in the grass over there. And uh, let's hope everything works out well for us. Look on wood. Um, I'm actually going to water gun that. And I'm going to confuse the coughing. See how much damage the water gun's to, gun does to Nummel. Wow, <laughs> killed it, not bad. Alright, so they're gone. Now let's move on out. And here's the Team Aqua thing. Don't we fight May? No. Do we fight her? Or does she just give us this TM? I think we fight her here. But I'm going to take a rest here. Not multiple rests, but just one. And should we use a different Pokemon? Yeah, let's use Shrooms and Mine. 
Yeah, that'll work. We haven't used shrooms in a while, plus these guys use uh, dark types and water types, so that'll all work. See? Speaking of dark types, and that was the wrong move I wanted to use, still got knocked out, which is always good. And let's go fight this Team Aqua Grunt. Uh, should I give these guys voices, or should I just skip through them? I'm just gonna skip through them. The only voices I'll give are the admin and, uh, what's-his-face. Again. So, yeah, let's fight these nubs with our, uh, Breloom. Oh, jeez, that's scary. Alright, never mind, it's dead. <laughs> Shrooms is level 32. Let's mock punch the Poochiena. That is a goner. Beat by a kid. Yes, you were. Oh, excuse me, did not want to go to the PC. Actually, what I do want to do is I want to take these black glasses off from Grovio, which I haven't done yet. No, I don't want to give you an item. You're dead. can't give you an item. So I'm going to take that. Anyone use these? I don't think anyone can use these, so I'm going to bag these. Yes. All right. Sweet, so let's move on over to here. And here's the double battle that I was worried about. You know what, I'm gonna give these guys voices just for the fuck of it. <clears throat> the Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Oh, we could use Cast Form! I've never used a Cast Form before. We might use Cast Form in this uh, LP, or this Nuzlocke. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that. I'll look it up later after this episode. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too. That's a no-no. We're here to get it first. Well, you know what, I'm gonna whip your guys' booties. Yo, grunt-ass booties. Anyway. We might use a cast form in this episode, because why not? And that did a lot of damage, a lot more than I would have liked. So that's gone. That's a lot of rough skin damage. That's a gone Zubat. It's a gone Zubat, yes. Mock Punch and Surf. And they have been murderified. So let's go heal up again, because I just really need to be safe about everything. Boop, boop, boop. And let's battle this guy. What do you have? You have a Poochiena. Perfect for shrooms. Get mock punched. You're dead. What, what now? And there's a Zubat. You can take a headbutt. It's gone. Carvana. You can have a mock punch as well. I should probably use Mega Drain on Carvana so I wouldn't take the rough, rough skin damage. It did five points of damage. Alright. Uh, what's a good voice for her? <coughs> Ha ha ha! You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs. You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute. You're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Mm, fill out your papers, Mike Wazowski. Yes, we'll give her. We'll give Aqua Admin Shelley the. Uh, I don't remember her name, but the slug from Monsters Inc. We'll give her that voice, or a close rendition of that voice. Yeah, Aqua Admin Shelly's about to get murdered, though. Oh, wow, the, it took it. I'm shocked. Don't hurt yourself in confusion, Shrooms. No, Shrooms. Shrooms, you can do it. Ha <laughs> ha, effect spore, bitch. <laughs> Put you to sleep. You suck, kid. <laughs> You're disgustingly strong. Wow, 1100 bucks. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. <laughs> Team Magma, just you wait. Alright. Thank you. We were safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. Hey, we received a cast form. What should we name cast form? Let's name him. Let's name him. Uh, let's name him Anchorman. Even though it's a girl. <coughs> Ink or man. I think that's how you spell Anchorman. That works. That Pokemon changes. Oh, that Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in the institute. Go ahead and take it. <coughs> so what these guys are telling me is that they created this thing. They created a cast form, adamant natured cast form. Is that good? Is that even good? It only has powder snow, rain dance, sunny day, and hail. Ew. Um, <coughs> we might use that thing. I'm not sure. Let me check cast form real quick um 
I'll be right back. So I just checked cast form and its stats are 70 across the board, so it's pretty much just basically just anything I need it to be. So if we do end up using a cast form though, it's probably going to be closer to a special cast form because I don't think of I can't think of any uh I can't think of any um physical moves that cast form would benefit from in this gen because there's no physical special split. So I'll have to look through uh it's move set later, and if I'm gonna keep it on me though, just in case, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Although I will take that Mystic Water and I will give it to uh, Pelipper, because Pelipper could probably benefit from it more than the cast form here. East cast form here. He's giving the Mystic Water to the uh, Pelipper. All right. So now let's move on out of here. <clears throat> and now it's not raining. Sweet. This Weather Institute is so cool looking. Like, look at this. It's like, it looks like it doesn't belong, but it does belong. I don't know. It looks cool to me. And let's go down here real quick. Isn't this where you can catch Feebas, I think? Speaking of which, I have the, I have the good rod now. Is, what, are we still on the same route? Please tell me we're not on the same route. Yes, we're still on Route 119. Eh, gross. Oh, here's May. Um, what did I get? What voice did I give to her? Did I give her the Valley Girl voice? Dark Z, where did, where, like, where were you? I was looking for you after I, after, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> I couldn't remember, uh, the voice. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! So she does battle us. So she battles us, she battles us relatively, like, quickly between the battles. Like, she battles us here, and then she battles us at... Lily Cove in front of the department store. But yeah, here's May. Oh, sh of course she leads with the Pelipper. Uh, I'm gonna send in... I'm gonna send in my own Pelipper. Haha, <laughs> fuck your protect. I'm gonna supersonic it. Of course he's protect. Like this, I'm just gonna fast forward through this part, because it's useless turns. Of course we miss, and that was a waste of a turn. Wow, that was like four wasted turns. Alright, so now with the Pelipper's confused, it's just to help us a little bit, because you never know. Sweet hurt self-confusion. Now let's wing attack this thing. Pelipper's kind of bulky, so we're going to see how this... Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, that's probably going to do nothing as well. I feel like that did more damage to me than I did to it. Which is surprising, because it's lower level. Oh, sweet, I'll take a critical hit any day. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Got something in my throat. Anyway, let's check out this Mystic Power Surf, Mystic Water Powered Surf, and that murders the Pelipper, even though it was really low HP to begin with. But oh, Combuskin, I'm staying in. Wow, I can wreck this thing with either one of my moves. So let's Mystic Water Powered Surf this bad boy up, and that is a dead Combuskin. <laughs> oh man, that thing stood no chance. Lombre, wow. Mine completely, like, just walls her team. Alright, sweet. Of course it uses Fake Out. All Lombre do. That's all Lombre do is just Fake Out and Absorb, apparently. Not bad. That is Meg defeated. Sweet. And Pelipper grew level. Level 33. And you're trying to learn stop. Oh, screw that. No. I'm not trying you no stockpile. No. 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 You're not learning that crap. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. And there we go. We've got HMO2 Fly. Not even bad. Use Fly and, like, your Pokemon will instantly carry you to any town you've, like, already visited. But to use Fly, you have to get that Gym Bash from Fortree City or whatever it's called. That's so important, so don't forget. You should, like, fly home and, like, visit Little Root for, like, a change. Like, I bet your mom's, like, worried about you, like, Dark Z. Like, we'll meet again. Let's meet again somewhere, Dark Z. Like... I'm going away on my bike now, bitch. Look out. Oh, and look, Scott. Ha 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 ha! Way to go, Dark Z. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. I bet you beat that trainer, didn't you? I was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with all f with a face all red from anger. I sir seem to run into you often. Are you off to the four tree gym next? I expect you all you'll do well, Jim. Be seeing you by. I don't like Scott. <clears throat> but in the meantime, let's teach our Pelipper. P -p 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 let's teach your Pelipper fly. Um, should I get rid of Wing Attack, or should I just get rid of Protect? Supersonic. Hmm. 
Mm. Uh, mm. It's 10 base power higher, but it's 5 accuracy lower. And with my luck, that's going to be... It's going to have, like, 30% accuracy. Um... I don't know which to get rid of. Supersonic or Protect? I get rid of Supersonic. Because I feel like Protect has a bit more use than um, Supersonic. I mean, I can scout, see where, uh, like, see what's going on with the Pokemon. Like, I scout moves and stuff. But let's move on out. Is this a new route yet? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, let's fight this uh, guitarist. Okay. Okay, I thought I was leading with, uh, um, what's its face? I thought I was leading with, um, Pelipper for a second there. Thank God we weren't, because that would have been a dead Pelipper. And I don't think there's anything back there. Maybe a hidden item? Maybe? Ew, it's a ninjask. Die, ninjask. It's a bug. Gross. That's a dead ninja boy. Oh, there's a Kecleon there. I never knew that Kecleon was there. Really? Huh. Cool. Is it worth the berries? I don't know what berries those are. Blah, 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 I don't care about secret bases. Sweet. Welcome to Fortree City, guys. We are here. And it's nice and humid and muggy. Because it's just a bunch of trees and tropical forest. So, yeah. Let's heal up our Pokemon. And honestly, I really do think I might use Cast Form. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, but let's move on over to... Is there anything in here? I know there's like a trading station here or something. The treehouse of four trees are great, blah, blah, blah. There's, like, someone who wants to trade, like, their Plusle or their Volbeat or something for your Zigzagoon, I think. But I think they're on the other side. Oh, yeah, this is the d crap that no one really wants because the secret bases in this game are useless. Although I'm so pumped for the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire secret bases. Oh, those are going to be freaking amazing. Oh, this is the male guy. Um, I think I talked about volcanoes. This is the... Uh, I don't know what this is. What are these guys? It's Pokédex. Okay, you guys are useless. Okay. What are you doing locking the door? <laughs> He's a nub. This is the lady that wants to trade you. What does she want? People Pokémon. Their hidden powers are aroused. Oh, wait. Hold a coin in my hand. Right hand? Um, left. Oh, is it right, right, left? I think it's right, right, left. Right. Right. Left. She gives us hidden, yeah, she gave us hidden power. What the hell? Sleep talk? <laughs> that guy teaches you sleep talk. Alright, not bad. I know there's someone who wants to trade with you. Is it this girl? I have to get me a Volbeat. I'll do anything for it. For a plus... Ew, gross. No, that's a horrible trade. It's just like... That's a... Uh, duo Pokemon for a duo Pokemon. No one needs a damn Volbeat. No one needs a plus hole either. They're both really stupid... We're going to move on here now, and I think we're going to go do the Kecleon event as well as get a Pokemon over here, so let's go check out what's going on over in Route 120. Hello, random lady. I think, this, I think what does she have? She has Roselia. Alright, headbutt the Roselia. That's a dead Roselia. Where's Wail? Oh, Wailmer! Wee wee! Wee wee! Wailmer! It's like Whalemer watching in Moss Deep. There's like someone in Moss Deep that's all like Whalemer watching way, way, way. And every time I see that, I'm just like, wee, wee. It's so fun to say. <laughs> Let's see. Should I switch? I'm going to switch out uh, Breloom for Hermit because Hermit hasn't seen action yet. Well, he has, but not like recently. You know what I'm trying to say. Let's see, first encounter, not yet, oh, first encounter for Tapuchiana, that's a dupe's claws for Route 120, that was what I was trying to say. Hermit, you can kill this thing. Really, it has swagger? Why do you have swagger? TM87, TM, TM87. Did that thing really just do that much, what? When did I get that much damage done to me? Was it the Rosalia? I wasn't paying attention. See, this is why I lose Pokemon, I don't pay attention. Uh, let's super potion that up. Uh, let's get a freaking encounter. Mightyena. I've been saying I wanted to use a Mightyena. Sweet, finally get one. It's a sand attack. No, stop it, Mightyena. No one likes you. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, so Mightyena. 
Great ball, go. Yay, we caught the mighty in a... Uh, I'm gonna name this, uh... I'm gonna name it Savage, because we lost a Poochiana named Savage. And this is gonna be like the homage to Savage, because Savage... And let's check out Savage Armidiana. Summary. It's a, oh, God, it's a modest nature. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. It's so booty. I mean, it helps with the typing because Dark is special in this gen, but Armidiana is a physical attacker. Gross. So booty. So booty. I'm going to go heal up real quick, though. Because I don't want to lose any more Pokemons like I've shared multiple times in this video. Now we're going to go, let's go to the Kecleon event, so we can go get ourselves another Pokemon, because the Kecleon is going to count, because it's a standalone Pokemon, and I count the, the sta static, standalone static Pokemon. Uh, Swablu, Swablu, I've fought so many Swablu in the grinding montage, oh my gosh, I was in the, um, that route that you have to surf to, there's a bunch of Swablus back there, I think you can catch Poke, you can catch Dittos back there, or? There's a Pokemon you can catch back there that you can't usually catch in the game, or something. It's like the only route you can catch it. I don't know what it is, though. It might be Swallow. I don't remember. I don't want your Pokenav number, or whatever the hell it is. Hey, look. There's a Kecleon. What voice did I give Steven? I can't remember. Let's give him all, sh like, a British voice. Hmm, Foxy, hi. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, no, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun, now, eh, wouldn't it? Docs here, are you a Pokemon ready to battle? That's more of like a Australian dying cat accent. <laughs> Docs here, show me your true power as a trainer. De Steve Steven used the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon became completely invisible, or whatever the hell it just said. Kecleon! I ran into a Kecleon over on the route where I was grinding. If you guys watched the grinding montage, you would have seen that I ran into a Kecleon. Because it's a Kecleon. And Kecleons are cool. I like Kecleons. We're going to try and catch this Kecleon, though. But I'm going to scratch it so it retains the normal typing. Because I don't want to deal with, like, switching into a steel type. Because that's just dumb. Stop fury swiping me. I really don't appreciate it. Probably. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was really scary. That was really, 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 really frightening. Let's not have that happen, please, Kecleon. I mm, mm, that that was scary. All right, let's throw a uh, great ball at this thing and hope that doesn't happen again. Wow, that was frightening. Now I know exactly what to name this Kecleon. I'm gonna name it. Where's the C? I'm gonna name it Comma. If you guys get the reference, which I don't see why not, you do not belong in the death box. I will go fix that real quick, like here. Oh, I see your battle style is intriguing. I'm Steven Stone, and this is Man vs. Wild. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dooford. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Alright, thanks, Steven. Really appreciate it. Now we can go Doc Z. I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. And he flies away. So majestic. So majestic. All right. Now I. This is what I wanted. I wanted a Navasol. But no. We had to get a Mightyena, which I love my Mightyena. I'm happy we got a Mightyena because I've been wanting to use a Mightyena. I said in the beginning of the series, actually, it's when I uh, first caught my. Uh, Puchina. Anyway, <clears throat> there is an item down here, and there is a Devon Scope, and it's a startled Pokemon. It's a Kecleon. I'm going to murder the Kecleon because it's a Kecleon. Kecleon. Uh, Metal Claw. Ow. Can stop that now. Scratched it. No damage. Metal Claw again. I don't like this. I'm going to switch. Let's go Shrooms. And that's a dead Kecleon. Alright. I'm not going to count that because we've already had, I don't know how many Kecleons. <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need multiple Kecleons, even though, yes, it is technically a standalone, or a, a, a static Pokemon. We don't need one. Can we catch Pokemon in this place? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Even fishing, I don't think so. Alright. Let's move on out. 
Go away, Pokemons. You're not needed here. Let's go heal ourselves up. And I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. And make sure you comment on telling me what I can improve and what you guys like about the episodes. And don't forget to answer the question of the day, which well, I will determine at a later date. Anyway, next episode, we're going to take on um, Winona. And we're going to have a team with, I think, about level 34. Because her ace is level 33. I think 34 is a good, a good level. But anyway... We're going to take her on, hopefully not lose any more Pokemon in the grinding montage or during her battle. I'm going to think of a strategy, depending on what... I don't, I'm going to see what I want to use, and then we're going to determine from there what's going to happen in that battle. Anyway, this has been Dark Zekrom. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.